Welcome, this is PNK TV. Kindly subscribe for latest news. Former State House spokesperson and media practitioner Kanzadena Mararo rejected a state job offer from ex President Uhuru Kenyatta in April 2022 when he was rewarded loyalist in his government. Insiders at State House told a local website that Uhuru had offered Kanze an ambassadorial job alongside Thomas Kwaka Amolo, former Dagoretti South MP Dennis Wawero, and former ICT Principal Secretary Bitang Demo among others. However, the former Citizen TV anchor was also served as the head of the Presidential Strategic Communication Unit, humbly declined to take the overseas job and requested to remain in Kenya. Kanze was loyal to the president, dedicated to her work, and she was to be appointed as an ambassador when Uhuru appointed envoys. The source close to the former president divulged to the Kenyans.co.ke. He nonetheless did not clarify how Uhuru reacted to Kanze's decision, but added that the president respected her choice and also surprised her with another gift. Therefore, the president nonetheless rewarded Kanze Dena for her dedication and service to the nation. He surprised her with cash worth millions. The insider stated declining to quote the exact amount Kanze received. The former citizen TV anchor was KG with the details of the gift package and also declined to comment on the matter. In the appointment, Uhuru made in April 2022, Dennis Waweru was appointed as Kenyan's Council General at the Kenyan Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thomas Kwaka Omolo, Big Ted, was appointed Council General to Los Angeles. Bitang Demo and Caroline Wanjiko assumed the roles of Kenyan's ambassadors to Belgium and Denmark respectively. Others were Ambassador Diana Kimbuthi, Rwanda, Ambassador Michael Oyugi, Spain, Thomas Cheptkuto, Somalia, Leonard Boyo, Turkey, Ambassador Isaac Njenga, Tanzania, Major General George Owino, Uganda. The former State House spokesperson was also one of the Huru's loyalists who were overwhelmed by emotion during the former president military farewell parade on Friday, September 9th at Langata Barracks. She was captured struggling to hold back her tears as she sang the national anthem. Now you're up to date. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on post notifications. See you in the next video. This is PNK TV.